Hey guys, I'm Vineef and today I'm going to be walking you guys through a quick tutorial on creating a simple AR application using ARKit and iOS. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new Xcode project. Now this is going to be a single view application. Product name can be whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do MDB AR demo. So the second thing we're going to have to do today is go into the info.plist, which just contains a list of permissions for your iPhone, and then give it permission to access the phone's camera. Now the tag can be whatever you like. I'm just going to say camera required for AR kit. And we're going to be using AR kit today, so we should import AR kit. You can just remove the did receive memory warning since this is a very small application. We don't need to worry about it. So the first thing we're going to do is initialize a scene, not initialize, declare a scene view. Now scene view is simply a wrapper around the AR kit internals that allows AR kit to interface with scene kit. Now scene kit is a high level 3D graphics rendering library provided by Apple. So we're going to initialize scene view now. And we're going to want the scene view to scratch across the entire screen. It's going to do scene view dot frame is equal to the view dot frame. Now we're going to add this to the view. Next thing we're going to need to do is create what's known as a configuration. And the configuration that we're going to be using today is AR world tracking configuration. There's another kind of configuration called AR face tracking configuration, but that's for facial recognition projects. So we'll stick with this today, and we're going to tell SceneKit that we're going to want to run this configuration using this syntax. We actually don't need these options today, uh, so we can just delete those. Now the goal of this application will be that every time you click the screen, we're going to drop a button down, a box down in 3D space. In order to do that, we have to create the bo button that we're going to link the functions that add the box to. So that button will be a UI button. <clears throat> and we're going to declare that, we're going to initialize that button much the same way we initialize the AR scene view. Since we want the button to exist all over the screen, we're just going to do button.frame is equal to view.frame. And we're going to give it a target, which is essentially a function that's called every time the button is pressed. And I'm going to call it add box. And for UI touch up inside. Now I'm going to expose this function to Objective C because that's what Swift 4 requires. And I'll create this function real quick. Okay, so now that is the add box function. Let's just build it to make sure there's no more errors. All right, so now we're going to need to access the camera of the current frame. In order to do that, we're going to go into scene view dot session dot current frame dot camera. And now this will just let us safely unwrap that. And now we're going to create something called a camera object, which is an ML, which is an MDL object. <clears throat> this is just a wrapper that lets us access the matrix properties of the transform much faster. So we're just going to do camera dot transform, and now this will give us those properties that we need. And we're going to need to get the position from this. And that's going to be done using camera object translation. Now we can actually get into dropping the box down. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create the box geometry. And we're going to do that by using scene box. And we're going to give it these widths. An important note is these widths, heights, and lengths are all in meters. So we're going to do 0 0.1 meters, 0 0.1 meters, 0 0.1 meters. And chamfer radius is the bezel on the box. And I don't need a bezel right now, so I'm just going to do 0.0. .0. Now we're going to do, now we're going to create the box node and we can pass in 
the geometry that we've created. Now we're going to set the position of this node to the position of the camera right now. This will mean that every time we move the camera, the box won't move, it'll stay in the same position. And notice how it says cannot assign a type of cannot assign value of type vector float three to scene vector. Xcode provides us a handy wrapper for the a convenience initializer for the scene vector three. So you can just wrap the position like that, and that'll just give you that'll set the box's position. Now in much the same way that we added the scene view or the button to the view. We're going to add this box node into the scene kits graph under the root node. So that we can do that by doing scene view dot scene dot root node dot add child node. And we're just going to add the box. Now we're just going to build it just to make sure that there's no errors. And now we can run this on my phone. Now we're just going to wait for my phone to have the application installed. It's taking a while since this is the first time it's running. Now it's asking permission. Remember that's what we said in the info.plist. So now it's actually tracking space. Now if we click, there'll be a box that appears. And if we click again, sometimes ARKit takes a while to actually create the box. So we see those boxes are being created. And there's a lot of them because I accidentally tapped the screen a lot. But that's the basic idea. If we just click, it creates a box. And we can move around and those boxes don't move because that's the power of AR kits tracking. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us, comment on the video. Thank you for watching.